I've been reading Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis and one of the chapters made me so happy because he said, this is complicated. He said, this is not simple. That he was about to go into elements of Christian theology that simply aren't simple. And he said, look, if you just want this to be a simple answer, you've come to the wrong place. And I, I felt so happy because there are elements of Christianity that are really simple and there are elements of it that require a lot of thought. Okay? The dual nature of Christ, the blessed trinity, the virgin birth, and on and on. The different councils of the church, the ecumenical councils in the first 1,000 years. So, if you want this to be simple about Trump, I'm sorry. This is going to take me time and I, and I want to do it right. And I'm going to continue on this topic tomorrow. I'm going to put the question up again. But <clears throat> I made a promise to you before I went to the break that I would explain to you how Stopping the influx of illegal immigrants from the southern border might save the republic. Now, you do know that Trump has said he's going to deport people. You probably also know that in the 1950s, Eisenhower deported, I don't know, 130, 150,000 people, but another almost 2 million left for fear of being deported. We can't deport 11 million people. I've said that repeatedly, but somebody pointed out, and I've had to concede, you know what, that's true. If we do start rounding people up, other people are going to say, you know, we take them back in a humane way, we, we take them home. Other people are going to say, I don't want to be on that train. I don't want to be on that bus. I don't want to be handcuffed. I'll go. And a lot of people are going to leave. And then they can come back legally. All right, hear me out. I got to make this quick and then I'll continue here tomorrow. Child killing, the blood of the innocent, is going to result in the judgment of God coming on this country. It's going to happen. In Israel's ancient history, you had the northern ten tribes and then you had Judah and Manasseh, the southern tribes. The northern ten tribes came under the judgment of God and were obliterated. Never heard from again. The southern tribes were judged, went to Babylon, but came back and were restored. And that's where Jesus came. When he came, it was the southern tribes that were judged but then restored. So the question is, will we have judgment unto annihilation or judgment unto restoration? That depends in part on what we do with child killing, if we end it. And if the, all of these illegal immigrants continue to come in and a Democrat takes the White House like Hillary, those illegal immigrants are going to become Democrats. The Democrats will therefore control the White House for as long as we live and they will, they will decide who gets to be on the Supreme Court, which will continue the slaughter of the innocent under Roe versus Wade. And if the slaughter of the innocent continues, America will not survive. Trump just on the southern border might save the republic from the judgment of God.